morning children in our last video we started learning about decimal numbers and in this video we are going to learn how to ex write the expanded form of the decimal numbers and also how to change a decimal number into a fraction number right so let's start and do these things place value chart suppose we have a number 2456 now here 6 is at ones place 5 is at tens place 4 is at hundreds place and 2 is at thousands place whenever we will write the expanded form of 2456 we will write it as 2000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 6 we are multiplying ones place digit by 1 tens place digit by 10 hundreds place digit by 100 and thousands place digit by 1000 now children when we move from right to left the value of the places they increase 10 times it means you multiply by 10 and then you get the next value So one multiplied by ten, one tensa is ten. Ten tensa is hundred. Hundred tensa is one thousand. Now, children, when we move from left towards right, the places decrease. by 10 times it means if you divide 1000 by 10 you will get 100 if you divide 100 by 10 you will get 10 if you divide 10 by 10 you will get 1 so when we move from left to right the value of the places decrease by 10 now when we will have a decimal and suppose we have a digit 8 here this 8 will be at 10th place and we will multiply it by 1 upon 10 means we have from the ones place we have gone to 1 upon 10 1 divided by 10 this is 1 divided by 10 because this is the division bar this is the division bar and we studied about the division bar when we were studying fractions so if we have to find out the expanded form of 2456.8 it will be 2000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 6 plus 8 upon 10 why we got 8 upon 10 we multiplied 8 by 
1 upon 10 and we got 8 upon 10 as the answer. 8 multiplied by 1 upon 10 is equal to 8 upon 10. So children, this is how we have the place value chart of the decimals. Okay, let us clear this and start again. Now, 1 millimeter, as I told you last time, is 1 out of 10 equal parts of a centimeter. So this is also equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. Same way 3 millimeter is equal to 3 out of 10 equal parts of a centimeter which is equal to 0 0.3 centimeter. Same way if we have 4 centimeter, 8 millimeter. This is equal to 4.8 centimeter. If we have 23 centimeter, 7 millimeter, it will be equal to 23 point seven millimeter so children if we have a decimal number like zero point nine and we want to find out the fraction equivalent of zero point nine since 9 is at the 10th place, so the fraction equivalent is 9 upon 10. Since it is at the 10th place, so we know that the one whole has been divided into 10 equal parts and we have 9 out of those 10 equal parts. So 0 0.9 is 9 upon 10. This is the fraction part. This is the fraction and this is the decimal Now if we have to write the fraction of 2.3 that would be 23 upon 10 or this is equal to 2 whole 3 upon 10. Children both of them are correct. This is 2 whole and this is 3 out of 10 parts. This 3 represents 3 out of 10 parts. So 2 whole 3 upon 10. And when you will change this mixed number into improper fraction, you will get 10 to the 20 plus 3, 23 upon 10. Let us try some more examples. If we have 17.5 and we want to change it into fraction. 7 this would be 17 whole 5 upon 10 or if we change it into improper fraction 17 tensa is 170 plus 5 is 175 upon 10 See children, this is the whole number part. So this is the whole number part. This is the decimal part which we have changed into the fractional part. Okay, let us change 
230.1 into the fractional part. Now this is the whole number. So 230 will come as it is. This is the decimal part. This is 1 out of 10 equal parts because it is at the 10th place. Or we can also write it as 2301 upon 10. Same way, if we have 4.3, this is the whole number part. So we will write it as a whole number. And this is the decimal part which, which we will change to fraction 3 out of 10 equal parts. So we can also write this as 43 upon 10. Now children, when you have to change a decimal number into a fraction, there is a shortcut also. You have to just remove this decimal and write the number as the numerator. And after decimal, if you have one digit, then you will put 10 as the denominator. See, here also in this number, we have removed the, this decimal here and we have written the number as it is and we have written upon 10. We have written 10 as the denominator since after decimal there is only one digit. Here also if you see we have removed the decimal Here, in this, we have removed the decimal and in the denominator, we have written 10. Why we have written 10? Because there is only the 10th place digit is there. Only 10th place digit is there. So, this is how we change a decimal to a fraction. Please pick up a few examples and change and you will get very, very familiar with this. That's all for today, children. Thank you and have a nice day.